Hey, I'm back and today I'm doing another pinch of numb recipe. I am doing lasagna courgette boats. So it sounded interesting when I looked at it. It's a little bit of effort, but not very hard to do by the looks of it. So fingers crossed. Uh, first thing we need to do is to make some boats. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so we have two courgettes and these have been washed. And first thing we need to do is to slice them lengthways. There we go, and that gives you the boats. Let's just do the other one as well. There we go, so I'm doing two portions, so it's one courgette per person. Now, the next thing you want to do is to scoop out the flesh, but leave a bit around the edge so it might be easy to go around with the knife first yeah leave yourself a bit around the edge to give it some structure Okay, now let's have a go at scooping it out. Let's just start that way around. Now, as you're scooping it, keep hold of this. go and continue and do all four okay once you've done all four and you put that aside for later you take a baking sheet you don't need to line it but I have put one of my silicone mats on because my sheets are not non-stick anymore so spray this with some locale spray Place your boats on, if they fit. There. And then sprinkle over some salt. And then put these in the fridge until we finish making the filling. Okay, to make the filling, take a large frying pan, add some locale spray and heat this up to a, a low to medium heat. Okay, once that's heated up, we add one third of a red onion, finely chopped, and two and a half button mushrooms finely chopped as well I'm not adding them because I don't like them and you cook these until they start to go soft which should only take a couple of minutes okay once they've softened you add 90 grams of turkey mince I've got corn going vegetarian so I'm going to put that in and 
and as it's corn I'm just going to add a little drop of water you don't need to do that with the turkey but the corn is dehydrated so it needs a bit of water and you add half a tablespoon of Italian herbs and you cook this until the turkey is browned which takes about five minutes should only take a couple of minutes with the corn but about five minutes for, for turkey okay once that's cooked we are gonna add half carrot finely chopped half a celery stick finely chopped about a third of a pepper I only add yellow finely chopped one spring onion finely chopped and the pulp from the courgette and we're going to keep stirring this in uh, for about two minutes Okay, once that's done, we're going to add half a tin of chopped tomatoes, that's about 200 grams. And to that we are going to add half a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. And one stock cube crushed up. So if you're using meat, then you want to use beef. I've got vegetable stock cube because I'm going vegetarian, so add that in, stir that round and wait till it starts bubbling So once it started bubbling, turn the heat down uh, to simmer for 20 minutes. So we're just going to leave that for 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes we should be ready. So we turn the heat off and we get the courgettes out of the fridge. Now the salt's brought out some moisture, so you get a kitchen roll and you dab the moisture out from the boats. and then you start filling them with the mince Okay, that's done. I have got some mince left over, so I might have some of that on the side. Then we're going to take 40 grams of low-fat cheese and we're going to spread this along the top.
and then put a sprinkle of black pepper over as well okay now we're ready this is going to go in the oven at 200 degrees for 30 minutes And there we have it after half an hour looking pretty good well I'm gonna get these on a plate and then we'll give it a try okay I've got them dished up I'm gonna add a bit of salad and a little bit of the mince that's left over as well but for now let's give them a try okay here goes Mm. Oh, that's good. The uh, the courgette's still firm enough to hold its shape. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Definitely a winner. So, keep experimenting, add things to your next shopping list, uh, stay home, stay safe, and I'll uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!